Hey guys, it's Lena from All My Friends, and today I have Kirsten Jones with me today. And today we're gonna be playing a round of, or multiple rounds of We're Not Really Strangers and have just a really honest conversation going on. I actually wandered upon Kirsten's page, I think back in the summer. I was going through a lot at the time, and I remember I would, I would go back to her page whenever I needed a, a breath, you know, to just kind of sit back and, um, feel like ever since then I've always found myself going back to your page and then I Aww. shot her a DM and I was like hey you want to come and talk with me <laughs> and she was kind enough to join us so yeah if you want to introduce yourself that'd be great. Hi I'm Kirsten. I go by Kurt sometimes but it's really whatever it's easiest for people because I know Kirsten can be a little bit difficult. Um, I started doing TikTok kind of during quarantine like a lot of people and it kind of just felt like home just sharing you know fashion and you know what I'm interested in and from here I was able to meet Alina and do this today so I'm excited to be here. We're gonna so player A is gonna draw the card and then player B answers and then we're gonna alternate back and forth. It seems pretty straightforward. Yeah <laughs> yeah just asking each other questions. <laughs> okay. okay. What about me is most strange or unfamiliar to you? Strange or unfamiliar? I'll, I'll go with unfamiliar. I think the reason why I was drawn to your page, and I think this is a really big part, is like you really never know anyone on the internet, especially with how they like portray themselves or allow for the camera to, to express who they really are. And so I remember when I first wandered upon your page, what drew me in was it felt really intimate. Like you said, it felt like a community because it wasn't like the setup was super fancied up or you could tell it was just like spur of the moment you put your phone somewhere and it just kind of happened yeah and i felt like maybe i was jealous i don't know I, but i was unfamiliar with the idea of being able to put your out put yourself out there in such an honest nature and i think because that's something i want to be more of i want to be comfortable in my own skin to portray myself exactly as who I am without barrier on the internet. Um, yeah. oh. I think that's what I would say. Okay. What about me intrigues you? Well, one thing that I noticed like right off the bat, even through texting and then like obviously through this first like couple minutes in the phone call, you carry yourself like in a way that I have not met many people that do that. And I don't know exactly, how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm 18, I just turned. I would never have guessed. I would have never have guessed. And not even to say that like, you know, the younger you are, the more whatever, like stigma young people have naive or whatever maybe, but you hold yourself, like that's what's intrigued me the most about you is you held yourself. And I've checked out your page before and looked, you know, through the site, it, it's just different. It's like, I feel like there's not that many people you meet nowadays that, carry themselves in a way that it's almost like you're sure of yourself and whether you are or not you you play it really well and it could be just you know who you are as a person or if you've grown into that but that is what draws me to a lot of people and I feel like those kind of connections um they're not by accident and so whether whoever reaches out it's like meant to happen sort of thing so that's kind of what intrigues me to you or you know what interests me do I seem like more of a creative or analytical type? Explain. Hmm. I think you're definitely more of the creative type is the vibe that I'm getting. But I feel like even within when you're being really creative, there's analytical like personality aspects of it. Mm -hmm. Like especially I feel like if you're doing something without kind of like in the stream of consciousness kind of creativity, I feel like you're constantly analyzing and maybe not scrutinizing, but like trying to see what you're doing from someone else's perspective. Yes. But that was right on the nail. Yeah. That's so true. I think especially when you have like a platform of like, you know, even a smaller mm -hmm. platform. Right. I, I've always been so afraid of like ever being like canceled. Mm -hmm. And I remember having like a really small following and I was like, okay guys, like I'm just gonna set it straight. Like I'm human, I'm gonna make so many mistakes. Like I really hope this isn't something that you think put me on a pedestal type of thing. Right. And then um, as I kept, you know, gaining more followers or friends or whatever, um, I just realized like, this is what I like to do. I'm kind of gonna speak my mind, but at the same time, just like you said, like I'll be thinking about it from the person's view of like receiving that message and seeing it and being like, 
okay, I could see how that could be misconstrued or thought of in a different way or, you know, perceived not in the way that I intended. So just keeping that in mind. So even though I try to be creative, I still think down to like the nitty gritty, like, okay, could this become, you know, something good or bad out of this? Right. So yeah, I think that's that. Yeah. I think as someone who's a part of your audience, it's very straightforward that when you create content, it's with consciousness. Like you can tell mm. kind of there's a step in every thing you put out, even if it's like a, a simple like, this is what I'm wearing today, or if it's like, this shitty thing just happened and I hate it and I'm gonna talk about it. Yeah. Everything that you choose, in, in, especially in like word choice, I think it pinpoints to the purpose of the video. And so, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm I glad think. it's perceived that way. It's different seeing it from like, hearing it from somebody else's perspective. Yeah. Okay, I guess it could be good for the thumbnail. It says, draw a picture. Together. Ooh, draw a picture of each other, okay. No. I feel like this is gonna be really offensive. I feel like I just lost all my, all my like, hope <laughs> in my drawing. Like, I can't draw now. And I usually, like, I can draw a little bit, so I was like, oh, okay. Oh, this is getting offensive. <laughs> this is not good. I almost don't want to show you mine. Okay. What was not 30 seconds? Okay, I was right about to draw your eyes, and then, oh my gosh. Card. Write down something others would never guess about you just by looking at you, both players compare. Do you want to just say it out loud? Yeah, we could say it out loud. I'm gonna guess that before you take any stride in self-growth or betterment, there's a little bit of kind of shooting yourself down before you, you're you ready to build yourself up. So a little bit of a phase where you kind of hurt yourself emotionally um, mm -hmm. before you're ready to jump back up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. That's pretty good. Okay, for you, I would say that since I get this type of like, like this, um, I say this like you just seem like you're very on to your direction I would say something that I wouldn't guess about you that may or may not be true is that you hesitate a lot that before you make a step you have to really think about how these like chess pieces will play in the grand scheme of things I think that you can be maybe you know very like fly by that GRC type of thing but at the same time like you're not going to do things like carelessly that you still would like really look at like the details do you think I intimidate others? Why or why not? I'm not sure about intimidate. Um, I think maybe people have a harder time stepping towards you, but I feel like also not because you're very friendly. But I, I don't know. I'm getting the vibe that you're outgoing, but I also don't. I don't know. You're right. That's, that's yeah? right. Yeah, yeah. I'm very like, I'll talk to people, no problem. But yeah. yeah, I mean, how they perceive me, I don't know. Some people might think I'm like mean, but I just like talk to people like, think I was popular in, in school explain yeah I feel like you were I feel like a lot of people could be drawn towards you easily whether or not like you wanted to keep a large crowd of friends around like would would have been up to you but I feel like like meeting you and like hearing you speak and talking to you for right like this short amount of time that we've talked I think that 100% like people could be drawn to you so easily so I think you could have been popular in high school I, I hope that's how people perceived me but um, this is the last card I got. This is actually pretty cute. Reminder, let go of your attachment to the outcome. Should I like wrap it up in terms of the video? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm like, I forgot we were filming. <laughs> well, that's it for our game of We're Not Really Strangers. I wish it was sponsored, not sponsored. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, Kurt Kirsten, for joining us and, and just I feel like it's really hard to have honest connection, especially within strangers that you meet on the internet. And so I feel like this was really refreshing and leaves me with good faith. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm glad you like invited me on here. It was so good to get to know you. And I feel like this game was like the best way to get to know, you know, how people think and how they operate because it asks like a little bit deeper questions. And I feel like even like the questions that seemed lighthearted had deeper meanings that could totally be read off of it so yeah i had so much fun today yay <laughs>